I have a box. It's come all the way from Latvia. Shall I open it? Let's open it. Don't do that many uh, unboxings really, do I? So what we got here then? I'm guessing it's a box within a box. And there we have it. Nice looking box with a nice looking logo, which would make a great avatar as well. This is the Aronet 4 Home Air Quality Monitor. And I will need to read the instructions because I won't know exactly. Oh, there's a quick start guide. Handy. So this has a everything I should possibly need. Look at that screen. Look at those free batteries. It's an e-ink screen. I thought that was a sticker, but it's just a piece of plastic protecting the instructions saying put the put the batteries in. So this can give a visual or audible warning when CO2 level concentration reaches an unhealthy level. And it uses a NDIR, a non-dispersive infrared sensing tech. Uh, the same thing that's found in gas detectors, I think. So compact, bijou. These batteries should last, if I can get them in, four years. I've read four years and I've read two years, but I think it's going to be two years if you're messing out around with the companion apps. You can have one of the apps, which is like an extension to this screen. Uh, it's kind of, um, you might want it on, an, on a tablet or, or a phone on the wall of your restaurant or your cafe to show everybody. And another app that just enables you to see seven days of data and you can work out all the patterns. Like in my case, I bet the bedroom's gonna be a danger zone like this. They said, I've been breathing on this, that's why it's that much. Let's go and see what it looks like with the window open. This is the measurement with the window open. Nice and healthy. Green, yellow, red. You don't want it red. And why don't you want it red? Because red is unhealthy, according to the booklet here. Uh, good, green, average, yellow, and unhealthy, red. Oh, nice bit of a 70s album cover of sunlight here. And um, apparently, if you are in the average zone, then you're brain cognitive function decreases by 15% and if you're in the red zone your brain cognitive function decreases by 50% imagine um, being in a room that's stuffy and what's that noise I hope I haven't got rats or mice down here it's just the wind it's just the wind um, apparently you're um, uh, more likely to get COVID in areas where there's bad ventilation but uh, outside of that just feeling sleepy and uh, half awake during a, uh, a meeting or a conference or something could be down to there being high CO2 levels and not that much air floating around that you, that's good for you the breathable stuff let me place this on here so we can see how much better it is outside um, outside obviously the level of fresh air around here is not going to be super fresh like in the hills and mountains because I'm right next to a main road but it's not carbon monoxide it's carbon dioxide we're measuring isn't it but nevertheless uh, what with the environment being what it is and CO2 levels rising everywhere I'm I'm sure the green yellow and red settings will probably need a, a slight firmware adjustment as as the whole world goes to wherever it's going to go when <laughs> we start only breathing carbon dioxide and nothing else uh, but on a lighter side this is actually not too bad out here not too bad um, there's more settings inside the app that enables you to uh, look at the trends of what's happening um, like how often you want it to update and other such stuff this updates about once every five minutes and um, I did notice that when I was sitting around it it was just slowly climbing and slowly climbing um, I will be taking photographs of this meter in public spaces. Now that I'm going back to public spaces, um, it will be interesting just to um, take a snapshot and use the app Swarm to share it to the uh, place's um, Foursquare page, whether I'm in a bar or a cafe or whatever. And um, that way, even if they don't have a meter, I can log the meter for them. 
This was sent to me on loan from Latvia and the company behind Aranet4. They do a whole swathe of um, internet of things. Um, I'm not getting paid for this review. I'm not really even been asked to do it. I contacted them, they didn't contact me, and I said, I'd love to test this. This is, this is the kind of extra data I need to log in my life. Not that I don't log enough already, but I think it's kind of interesting, and I wanna be able to sleep better and healthier and I want to be working in an environment where my brain is at full capacity and not uh, slowly suffocating under the weight of CO2 so um, if they um, are able to give me some kind of voucher code if this is something you are interested in then check out documentally.net because I will be certain to drop it into my weekly email going out to subscribers of documentally.net Otherwise, there will be links underneath this video wherever you happen to see it. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see my continued logging and experiments with this little device. And it is little. Just 7 centimeters by 7 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters. Very pocketable. I'm going to take it everywhere and see how it goes. But so far, so good. Interesting information at my fingertips and very easy to use. Catch you later. I might stay out here a bit longer now the sun's out.